Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Nuriz, Ramirez, and Matthias La Torre. This very beautiful chess game was played in Paris in 2016. Ramirez had white pieces and he started with e4. La Torre played e5. Knight to c3 going for the Vienna game. Knight to f6. Bishop to c4. Knight takes on e4. White to move, queen to h5. If knight takes on e4, then d5 and black is ok. Queen to h5 was played, threatening a checkmate. Knight to d6, defending and attacking, bishop to b3. Knight to c6, knight to b5, a deflection, tactic attempt, g6, queen to f3. Knight to f5, white to move. In the game, Kapferstich and Andreasen. We have seen queen to d5. In this game, Ramirez played g4. Attacking the knight, and if the knight moves, then f7 square is at risk. d6. g takes on f5. Bishop takes on f5. Knight to e2. Kicking the knight back. Knight from b to c3. Bishop to g7, d3. And Latore castled kingside. For his piece, black has two pawns, plus better development. White to move, perhaps white should develop his dark squared bishop and castle the queen side to catch up with development. Instead of developing h4, going for the throat, queen to d7, knight to e4, king to h8, rook to g1, and now d5, attacking the knight. Black wants to open the E and D file and catch the white king before he reaches the safety of castling. White to move, perhaps knight to C3 was expected, but there was a surprise. H5 was played. What a move. H6. If D takes on E4, one line goes like this. D takes on E4, bishop to E6, H6. And the important defender of the black king would be dead. Back to our game. h6. h takes on g6. d takes on e4. Now, white to move, I guess. Pawn takes pawn on e4 was expected. Queen to h1 was played. f takes on g6. d takes on e4. Bishop to g4. Bishop takes on h6. Bishop to h5. Two black bishops, a black king bodyguards. Bishop to e3, queen to e8, knight to g3. Interestingly, the white king didn't castle, but he seems to be safer than the black king. Do you agree? Knight to a5, threatening knight takes bishop. Knight takes on h5, g takes on h5. Queen to g2, threatening checkmate. Queen to d7 defending. White to move. How would you continue? Ramirez played this lovely move. Bishop to e6. Nice deflection tactic. Queen to e7. Of course, if queen takes on e6, then queen takes bishop on g7. Check mate. Queen to e7. Queen to g6 was played. Bishop to f6. If rook to f6, one line goes like this. Queen takes on h5, check. Rook to h6, bishop takes on h6, queen takes on e6, bishop takes on g7, check, and white wins back to our game. Bishop to f6 was played. White to move, how would you continue? White played a move and black resigned, and the move is bishop to f5. If queen takes on h5, then queen to h7, I guess. White is still better. But in this position, after bishop to f5, play with the black pieces resigned. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. Rook to f7. Bishop to c5, attacking the queen, and where is the queen going? If rook to g7, queen for queen, then queen takes on h5, check. After rook to h7, bishop takes queen, Rook takes queen on h5, bishop takes bishop on f6, check, mate. What a wild game. 
What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.